is Lolly. Welcome back. I am still working on December Daily. This is going to be part 11. This is where we left off. You can see how far we've come and how far we have yet to go. This is what we're doing today. So I will move this out of our way. Okay, so let's, I want to get this hole punched because I need to know how much surface I have that I can work with. I want to make a shaker out of this. But no matter what I do, I am going to lose some of the view of what is happening here. So I'm not going to agonize over it. I am going to make my shaker. Whatever shows through, shows through. I love that it says Christmas memories, and I think that alone will be very helpful to me to have in there. I will lose much of the tree and these snowmen. So what I was thinking, I have this um, foam tape. I was thinking I would make a border across here. And I would need to figure out here how big to make this. So I can go four and a half by, this is six, and this is would be four and a half wide. So I'll make a frame that size, cut out the center, and I would have that as my, um, as my shaker. Now, if I went with the pale blue... That's just a little shy of what it's supposed to be. I notice when I cut with different trimmers, I don't always get the right sizing on that. So do I leave it as is or get another piece of paper? I have another um, cardstock that is a pinch paler than this, but it still works. I didn't buy this specifically for the uh, for this project, but what I think is... Um, it's very thin, lightweight. I think it's 60 pounds, so I'm going to use glue sticks and adhere this together to make sure I have a good, sturdy, uh, good, sturdy paper. All right. And this side has a metal guide on it, so I'm safe to use that one. I don't need to erase my pencil lines because that side is going underneath. So this will go on here with foam tape, but the foam tape is a little too thick. So what I'm going to do is first of all get some acetate adhered to the back of this. Okay, like that. I'm going to use... Um, this advanced tape glider because it is nice and slender it's only a quarter of an inch wide on the tape and uh, when doing this let's move this off for now I will need it again in a minute in doing this um, when you position your tape on here pull the trigger and pull it down you want to release the trigger before letting up on the glider Okay, now for the tricky part, I've got to put this right over the top and look straight down at it. I'm sorry for the glare. Make sure I get this centered. As long as you get it affixed, I mean, even if it's not perfectly centered, you can always trim off the excess acetate. So not to panic. That works really well. Now, this foam tape is notoriously not thick. So what we can do if you want a deeper shaker is to make two layers of the foam tape uh, again it's up to you is what you want depending on what kind of shaker elements you want to put inside of here and so the other thing you might want to consider is what embellishments you are going to do on the back of this because uh, do you want to have to have to flip this over and decorate I don't think it'll be too much of a problem for me I do see some acetate sticking out so I'm going to give this a little trim. Okay, now let's get working on that tape. So I know that I know the dimensions of this because I have already been working on trimming that up to size. So my tape needs to be that long as well. So what I think I can do is use this plastic here 
and set my tape on it to cut down the middle. Okay, I know it will cut through this plastic, but I just kind of have to do it. Okay, so what I want to do, I could put the, the this here, but I'm not sure if I would, I think it'll be okay. I don't want to ruin that. So I'm going to center this between these lines. Actually, I could do it this way. Center it between these lines, and I'll just cut it right in half. And hopefully that'll be just the right width that I need. So this tape is how wide? It's do, do, do. it's three quarter inch wide tape. So cutting that in half is going to be just perfect. So I'm going to center that right here. Oh my goodness. It is actually the exact width that I need, which could be problematic in that you might see it from the underside. So we'll have to see if that's going to cause us problems. You know, you might see it sticking out, especially if you have more than one layer. Now I need to do these. I know this is four and a half inches wide, but I've got to go from here to here. So to make absolute sure, I need to go three and five eighths width. I mean length on that. Okay. Centering it on this white line here and centering it there. Just eyeballing that. Okay. See if we can get that to fit in here. And you notice I have a little tiny crack right in there between those two areas. And that means if I have little tiny shaker bits, they could fall out, such as something like um, beads, for instance, would fall right through that crack. So let's take a little piece here and kind of piecemeal that together. There we go. This side, it's barely negligible, and you can hardly see it at all. I'm not sure if putting anything in there would help at all. <laughs> okay, you could also take an anti-static bag to this to make sure it's not staticky. Now, you can see by the width of here that I am limited as to the thickness of whatever I put in my shaker bits as far as getting them to shake around, like beads, for instance, wouldn't work. So I can put a whole other layer of foam tape on here by peeling all this off and adding another layer of foam tape. I could do that. The question is how much, how thick do I want this page to be? That's my question. And let me trim this up here. So I am just hesitant. Um, as far as putting beads in there, I don't know. I, I like it either way. Frankly, I like it both ways. I think this is beautiful. I think it will shake. And I don't even have to put... Um, I don't have to affix shaker bits in there for them to shake, but I think I might go ahead and do the extra layer in here. So let me peel all this off. I will do the extra layer, even though this is going to make my book huge. And you do what you want for yours. Alrighty, let's do that again. One thing I could have done too would have been because I did these straight solid pieces and then filled in the gap, I could have done a solid piece from here from left to right and then filled in the gap this way. I think I will this time because this way it'll make it um, the balance of the where my cracks are. I think I will do that. So I know it's a little bit of waste, but I do use my little pieces, so that should be okay. This covers up my cracks from last time. There we go, and I will use those. And so now I need for this side five and just barely five and a quarter. There we go, perfect. Now, you can see by the thickness here that now I have more room to add more shaker bits than I did before because it's thicker. I am going to add a little bit of the anti-static in here and especially up against the foam here. <laughs> I 
And then what I'm going to do is actually put my shaker bits right here in the center and flip this upside down and glue it on there. If you have anything such as this, like a sticker, and you would like to use that in there, just back it onto paper and then fussy cut it out and then it would be a shaker bit floating around in there and you wouldn't have to like actually stick it on. I already have a sentiment here, so I'm not necessarily needing another sentiment anywhere here anywhere in here. So I just think that the whole just adding shaker bits would be enough for me. I want to take a look at this. I love the look of this. And this is a Dress My Craft uh, shaker jar. And it's called Carnival Candy Sequins. And I thought it was so cute. If you look at the... Now in, it's got white and it's got these little foam candies in there. I think they will be adorable. And it's got white and holographic sequins in there as well. And a few stars even I'm seeing. Of course, sticking to me because I didn't anti-static my fingers. And I'm going to add maybe something else from my stash here. This was sent to me by Dress My Craft. And I think it is so fun. Those itty bitty candies in there. How cute is that? Okay, let's see what else I want to add to that. I have this that I got from the dollar store called Tube Confetti. And you've seen me use it in a couple of things. But I want to use this kind of holographic clear. I'm just sprinkling it on there and so I don't have to use my hands to dig it out. Okay. Oh, I hope that's not too much. All right, I'm going to clip this shut for now and I will repackage it later. Now I'm pushing everything toward the center so that I won't have anything it can, uh, interfering with my tape job and I'm also flattening this out so it's not so thick right in the center. I just had a thought, just a thought. I'm wondering about some snowflakes with that glitter white cardstock. I'm not sure if this piece is big enough, just, I don't want it to be curled, I want it to be flat. So I'm going to flatten that and put the sequins maybe on top of it, see if that works. And maybe one more. I think I need another glitter snowflake. This is causing my sequins to jump off of my project here. Okay, so here we go. I'm trying to push this under the sequin for now. I don't want the edges curling up. So here we go again. I'm pushing it back toward the center again. I'm doing a trial run here. Okay, that's staticky, but can't help it. Alrighty, I'm going to pull this off. Now this is a huge shaker card. I think this is the biggest I have made so far to date. Okay, whoops, sorry. We're gonna flip this upside down, or right side up, and then look right down over that, center it carefully, and put it down. And now I'm now I'm just pushing down where the foam is. Okay, now you can see I've got a good amount of shaker elements in there, and some of it's staticky, some of it's not, but it, it all in all it works well together. I see my snowflake is sticking there. One thing you can do if you don't want to lose sight of certain sticker elements is to actually glue them in place on the background. I can look over here, I do see my snowmen. I do see part of that tree right there. If I had another set of this cardstock, I could cut the tree out and then add that back in here, what we're missing, what I can't see. Very cute, I love it. So another thing I am thinking about is, I'm wondering about even just kind of gluing that there. Fun extras. Oh, that's adorable. Just adorable. 
Another thing I could do is kind of bring more of the snowflakes in by putting maybe one of those or so on the frame. I don't know yet, but I still have this. And this is the opposite side of our day. Because this one is so decorated, I really can't do any journaling or putting a photo there, right? This is, that is what it is. I, I don't have any option for this day to use this for journaling. So what I need to do is save the majority of this space so this can be my journaling slash um, photo card for the day. I see I need to trim that down. Okay, so one of the things I have, this doesn't have any pink in it much. You know, I don't really, it's just very, very pale. I don't really think you can see it. Sorry, I know the glare is on that. So let's um, put this back here, see if that gets the glare off of it, Most, mostly. So I could bring some pale blue over to this side if I want. And the one that I cut down, I do have this. Remember that, that I made that and um, it still has this little air here that I can fix by trimming that off. This could be a pocket and that would help to bring in the blue from the other side. And it would do it quite well. It's too tall for me, I think, so I need to trim this back anyway. So that would be absolutely fine with me. Okay, so that would work here. It's a very sturdy piece because it's two layers of the cardstock. I could do that. I like the red and white stripe, and I'm thinking I want to bring some of that over here. So I'm going to look at my washi and see if I if I have anything that would help. I could also do this. Um, last year's December Daily, I had cut these out. They were from, I believe, Miss Kate Cuttables. And so I had printed and cut these out on with my cameo that would make a really cute pocket addition right there and then it brings in the red and white stripes from here and transfers it over I still don't like the raw edge here on this so I need something across here no matter what I do I do have this which is red white and green stripe which would probably take care of that I think definitely Okay, the question is, do I need anything bigger? But I think I'm okay with those, with the candy canes. I don't need, I don't need any um, extra border help here. Now, one of the things that you can do to help, oh, uh, here. Of course, the other thing is, because of the fact that the, the washi is translucent, the white of the washi is not really showing up that well, but it still is cute. These will help to brighten up that page. I do think I want to add these here. Let's use the julet to put those there. Okay. And I'm still thinking about this before I glue it down. I also have lots of these scraps of this white glitter cardstock, and I'm just going to use a hole punch here and punch some circles, some dots out with that. I want to put them on either side of this. Very cute. Alrighty, let's get this pocket glued down and then I'll punch my hole again. There we go. Now we need these and I'm thinking something needs to go in the middle. I would love to have a bow, but I don't know that I want anything really thick, um, a thick embellishment because this is so thick. But I can still glue these down and I could even do... Hmm, thinking. Okay. I think it might help if I were to get them where I want them and glue them to each other. Okay, now I can glue them down. For those of you who've been uh, looking, my fine tip points for the Art Glitter Glue Bottles are back in stock. There you go. Okay. 
This is completely different than any of the other pages I've done. I realize that. <laughs> but I really like the, uh, the shaker element on the right-hand side here. So the question is, can I do something right in the middle here? And I'm wondering about even a snowflake. It doesn't really show up that well. Let's get rid of this. It's so dark. Which is why I usually put the paper here. It helps you to see what I'm doing. Okay. I really think that that's not... It, it's If I stick it up with some foam tape, you can see it a lot better. However, I did have a thought here. I do have... I could put a word across there. It could go white. I could go further down like this on the canes. I think I will do that. Many times people have said to me they're surprised at how fast I make decisions. And the only reason is because I'm on camera. I don't make fast decisions when I'm not on camera. And I think I just need to, I keep telling myself, you've got to get moving. You've got to keep moving and don't dawdle. And so therefore it forces me to make rapid decisions. And I think that that has helped me overall to um, be a little faster. When I first started making pocket letters, it took me a week to make each one uh, because of the fact that I would do a part and I would have to walk away and look and th come back and look at it later and and you know decide what I wanted to do it was very slow process okay I think that is really cute I could this looks crooked to me and it probably is <laughs> I could do something up here but I hesitate because of the fact that this is really just going to be um, it's going to be um, a place for photos, but I still could do something like this, right? Glue this in place. Let's glue this down, and then we will call this page done. We've got a little bit of white helps to break up the starkness of that pink there. Okay, folks, we just finished this day, which should be Christmas Eve day if I've got that all calculated properly. But because this took so long to do this particular page, um, we will stop there and that leaves us for the back inside cover, which would be Christmas Day, and that's this one. Okay, so let's pause the video here or stop the video and we will resume on our next and last day. After that, all we have to work on is the cover. Okay, my camera cut out in the middle of filming. Uh, the very end. So I just want to say thank you for watching and for keeping up with this series. It is really turning out so fun and so easy to work with this paper collection. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing, for giving this video a thumbs up, and we will see you next time.